Hello my YouTube friends, it's me your old buddy Magnum over here at Magnum Videos and today we are going to talk about the gear I use to shoot my real estate videos. So let's get started. All right, a lot of you have watched my previous videos where I've gone through the process of uh, defining and refining my procedures and the equipment that I use for various types of shots in real estate video. So today I'm going to show you what I have come up with as far as the best uh, collection of gear in order to do the type of videos I want to shoot. So let's begin with the first item. First item is the camera. I use a DSLR, it's a Canon 70D. Uh, I've had this camera about two years. It's a great camera, I love it, and it uh, does everything I need to do. Uh, I use this camera primarily for interior pans uh, to show rooms. Uh, also, obviously I need a lens, so let's look at that. Okay, the lens that I have uh, decided works best for me is the Canon 10 to 18 millimeter ultra wide angle. This makes your rooms look much bigger and allows you to capture everything you need and you can get some really long pans. But in order to do that, you need a third item. And that item is the tripod. You've probably watched my video on the Manfrotto uh, 520A, I think, kit with the fluid head and the tubular legs. This is a great tripod, really nice fluid head, and I just attach the camera to that and do my pans across the room. Which brings us to the next item. A lot of times I need to do something other than just a pan. I need to show uh, the camera moving into a room or around a room uh, in a more like video tour type uh, environment rather than just a flat pan. So, and I know you've seen uh, my videos on this particular item. This is the DJI Osmo. This is the sixth one that I have uh, purchased. I think I'm going to keep this one. Uh, but it works great for interior uh, walkthroughs, uh, and you can also use it uh, in another application, and we'll get to that in just a minute. So let's go to the final item. The last item is the DJI Phantom 4 drone. This is a great uh, piece of gear for capturing aerial videos, doing orbits around the property, or if you want to, you can do like a low-level trucking movement along the property. Now, I want to talk about redundancy. One of the reasons that I picked these particular items for my video gear is because there is a, a degree of redundancy built into them. And redundancy is important if you have a, a failure of one or more pieces of equipment. For instance, if my Canon uh, DSLR should fail uh, because of a corrupted SD card or a, a dead battery and I don't have an extra, I can use the Osmo to capture those pans. If the Osmo should fail, I can still use the Canon and just do straight pans and straight tilts and uh, 
come up with something that will work for me. Now, if the Osmo fails on the exterior shots, I can use the Phantom and capture all those. And if the Phantom fails and I need to do like a trucking shot along the front or back of the property, I can use the Osmo for that or I can use the Canon and set it up on the tripod and just do a pan or a pan tilt. Uh, so everything is, uh, everything has its specific purpose, but there's also uh, some redundancy there so that I can use specific items to fill the roles of other pieces of gear that might not be with me or might have a, a, an issue. So I think that's it for now. If you shoot real estate videos, leave me a list of your gear down below. Leave a comment. Tell me what you use. And uh, if there's anything that uh, I don't have that you suggest, let me know that too. I have considered a slider, but I think with the Osmo and the Canon uh, and the Phantom, I think a slider would be a little bit of unnecessary addition. So leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear from you. Hope you're having a great day. And until I speak with you again and even after that, you stay focused. <laughs>